Hello there everyone, welcome back to Final Fantasy Type-0 HD. Kiss off! Uh, you might be like, Joe, what in the hell are you doing here? This isn't academia. And you'd be right. I am in Corsi, the town that we liberated last time. Just because I wanted to see what was going on. Hello! I bought one of each of these things too. I don't know what they're for. I just know that I wanted them, so I got them. In the meantime, let's go back towards Academia and keep visiting all the cities or towns that we've been to on the way. Considering it has to load a world map, the game loads pretty quick. Okay, so this is Corsi. Now I want to go over there and then go back to Rubrum. So I never actually entered the, the towns or cities when they were liberated, only when they've been in fights. Still playing as Trey. Oh, random encounter. Okay. A good opportunity to test my... There we go. I was going to say a good opportunity to test my... Uh... No, it actually destroyed before I had a chance. I'll be quiet, you. Oh, and then he got froze to death. Alright, cool. Don't really feel like I did anything, but that's okay. Dodge across the map. Much quicker, obviously. Oh, another, another fight. This, this enemies just see me, like, flipping around. They're like, uh... One. That's the next enemy. Hey! Take your phantom as well, and then I'm going to shoot you. You can't hit me. Thanks for the MP. <laughs> I guess it's all experience in the end. I just want to go s visit the towns. Once I've done it, I don't have to do it again. Right, Akvi. Don't know how to pronounce that or this town's name, but I think it's Akvi. Looking for little things to pick up. Shop there, which is fine. Just want to see if there are any sparklies. Not that I can see. Alright, hello. Shop I used to run bound to the ground, but I still managed to salvage some goods before they went up in flames. It still smells a little smoky, but I can assure you everything is otherwise perfect condition. Ooh. I want one of those. Okay. These are all for fire magics and things. They all reduce MP. That's fine, I don't need any. I'm gonna use this sword or bow for the rest of the game. I'm only joking, I'm gonna use whoever is the lowest level at any one time. I've said this. Okay. Let's go to Boob and Popper then. I wish there was a fast travel, or, well, maybe when I get a chocobo it won't be so bad. I'll be able to just ride along really quickly. I'm going to leave that plan alone because it will not be interested in anything I have to offer it. Needs 
reason why I say that is because Flans always in Final Fantasy just don't like magic and they don't give a shit about physical attacks. So I was no point in fighting the Flan with the bow. I assume the AI is smart enough to know that as well. Now let's enter McTithe. Looking for sparklies. You never know where they might find a knowing tag or something. But this reminds me more of an actual RPG than, you know, FF13, which is a straight line. Even though I actually liked FF13, I know it's sacrilege. Sure, the town started to rebuild, but that doesn't mean it's completely back on its feet just yet. Thankfully, the folks at Academia are kind enough to send supplies. Do you need any, by the way? Ballistic vest and a riot shield. Well, I haven't got them, so I'm going to buy them. If I don't have anything in stock, you better believe I'm going to buy it. Eventually, I'd like to have all the items. It's how I like to play RPGs. I just like to have one of everything that you can equip. All the sub-quests and things I'm not that bothered about, but just having things from shops so I own everything would be good. It allows you to be more versatile. Petromans 842 RG. The deployment of the Agito cadets initiated drastic progress toward the recovery of Rubrum's occupied territory. Following the cadets' brilliant success, the Consortium of Eight approved Operation Retaliate a bold gambit to recover most of their lost territory. The cadets were informed of the ruling immediately. The 25th Infantry is gradually being driven back. Dominion military activity is on the rise, and Concordia appears to be in league with them. <laughs> the Queen of Concordia is a cautious woman. She won't fully commit to a war. She sent reinforcements, but she's keeping them far from the front lines. You'll receive your orders later. Dismissed. Sir. I'll be requiring your services shortly. Very well. Is it your intention to use him? That is not your concern. Status report. Uh, yes, sir. Engine 9 is operating within normal parameters. All we need to do is locate the target. Then a focused disruption should bring it under our control. Speed up the search. Do whatever it takes. Sir. The gears are turning, faster than I had imagined. I must finish this before the thunder sounds. <sighs> Lord Shuyu! Uh, but... Will that protect us? I mean, will that lead to the safety of the Dominion? I am Lassi. Nothing more, nothing less. Forgive my asking. Lord Shuyo is a Lassi. I trust his judgment. Then the Dominion army will proceed according to plan, if it pleases you. Do as you wish. There are no guarantees that I can make to you. Should the worst happen, order a retreat. Should the worst happen? Let us trust in the Crystal's guidance. How exactly are you going to make up for this? Meaning what? Your unauthorized use of military personnel. This is a serious matter. A man is dead. I don't see the problem. One soldier died. That's all. 
and the children did a splendid job retaking the capital. Or is it too hard for you to calculate gains against losses? Even so, there were other more qualified scouts and intelligence officers in the military for that task. Why did it have to be him? Why did it have to be Izana Kunagiri? Because that's the one he wanted. What? I don't know how the two of them met. But Ace made it clear that's who he wanted. That's your only reason. You let one of my soldiers die because one of your brats said he wanted him to come? That's right. I needn't remind you that the Chancellor has the final say on all military matters. Surely you wouldn't oppose his decision. I... asked for him? He died because of me? Sana... Kunigiri... Ace, are you okay? You don't look so good. Makina? Makina Kunigiri? Uh, yeah, that's me. Seriously, are you okay? I'm sorry. Uh, you're acting weird. Great. So, <laughs> I got Machina's brother dead, killed, super dead. Hello. There you are, I've been looking all over for your kids. You see, I have a favour to ask, one of a rather <clears throat> uh, confidential nature. Harvest one red phantom for the sorcery researcher. I need a red phantom for my research, and your class zero cadets are the only ones I can ask for help. All according to plan, your cooperation in this matter is greatly appreciated. Got no one? Excellent. I can see why the doctor insisted I ask your assistance in this matter. Koopa. People offer a reward for helping them out, Kubo. To start you off, I'll provide you with the little first little incentive, Kubo. Alexa, yay! No, so just to complete a task. That's fine. Well met, Cadet. The administration was quite pleased with your performance out there the other day. I have no doubt that folks around Rubon will be asking for your help from now on, so do lend them a hand. Okay. Undertaking one of these tasks will not elapse time. Collect a reward by speaking to the client after completing the task. On mission day, collect your reward by going to a proxy at academia. If anyone could be of service to the people of Orient, this is class zero. So, now I'm going to be running odd jobs. Okay. Let's go speak to Mother. whole thing still reeks of Sephiroth to me. Well, that should do it. Everything seems to be in working order. How do you feel? <laughs> Not too bad. Are you used to the Peristilium? Everything's going well, if you ask me. You see the reports, haven't you? Yes, but there are some things the reports don't tell me. Are you saying you don't want us to make you look bad? I'm not worried about me. Besides, it's only natural for a mother to worry about her children. It's all well and good for you to go off to your battles, but do try to come see me more often. Sure, I'd love to. If you weren't always held up in your office working on something. I'm as busy as ever. But a mother can always make time to see her children. Right. Okay, she's weird. I'm gonna feel like she might actually be bad guy. Or after all of this, she's gonna be the evil one. I made Class Zero to rule the world. Ugh. Okay, so we can venture outside Academia. Yay! Let it out into Orient causes six hours to elapse. You cannot leave Academia for less than six hours remaining until your next mission. Knowing tags are found of the bodies of dead soldiers and strewn about the battlefield. Collect these Dominion IDs and return them to the Class 8th Moogle. The reward you receive changes depending on the number of tags you return at one time. I don't have any right now. 
I gave you the one that I had. Hello. Kubo? Suppose I'm the Moogle in charge of class 5th, Kubo. Yeah, I'll talk to you. You get why your cadets are split up in different classes, don't you? I mean, come on, isn't it obvious, Kubo? Because you love the show, the classmates gives you strength out in the field, Kubo. You both are the ones who keep your head in the game and your eyes on the prize. No fancy magic can compare with the power of friendship, Kubo. Hey, was that a sneeze or are you laughing at me? Hmm, maybe all this war is messing with people's minds or something, but no Kubo feels what I'm preaching lately, Kubo. Someday you'll see, though, you get your bows back and they got yours. That's the power of friendship, Kubo. Seriously, quit laughing at me, dude. You think I won't laugh at you, I'll laugh at whoever the fuck I please. Computer and chocolate is over at the ranch. Why not try breeding some yourself? I speak from experience when I say that having a chocolate or two makes travel a lot easier. I will, don't worry. Probably happen next time now, but... Going on here. I need to win in guerrilla warfare by employing small, highly mobile units. Oh shit. There you are, darling. I was hoping to have a little chat with you. Surely you have a moment with your dear mother, don't you? This portal will take you to the Alto Cristavium, a sacred spot where I develop all sorts of incantations from the phantom you dares collect for me. Don't worry your pretty little head about the details, just remember your children are doing great service to the Dominion and your dear mother. Why don't you head out to the Alto Cristavium and have a look for yourself? I'm sure it'll be worth your while, darling. Oh, fuck. No! Go into class zero, I want to go and learn. Hey, Makina. Ren, something wrong? Well, it's just... I heard a rumor. It's about Lord Shuyu. He was sighted near the battle lines up north. Lord Shuyu? The Dominion Lassie? Lassie don't really move around without a good reason, right? So I'm just wondering what that good reason could be. I agree. For a Lassie to appear on the battlefield, something big must be going down. Oh boy. Well, the problem is that Lassie have Falsi, usually. Although, apparently, in this game, they are controlled by the crystal and they can still turn into Seath, though, so the crystal gets to decide what you do. What if the crystal decides that you want to destroy the planet? Then what? I'm definitely going to listen to all of these. Uh, study the structure of spells, analyze the characteristics of various element incantations, memorize how to invoke all the magic listed in the sorcery and Mialano spellbook. How do we cast magic without being the sea again? Oh, that's uh, harsh. So Trey thinks he's super clever, but in fact, fucking idiot. I'll have 22 hours after all of this, which is fine. Empire's main airship fleet. Did I just watch the same one again? No, I don't think I did. Maybe they're just randomised and I got the same two in a row. Which would be a bit weird, but oh well. Okay, ice magic. Wake up on time at the capital of Concordia. I don't know that. Okay, so these are just like things in between lectures. I wonder how many there are because they're already reusing cutscenes in that. Wait, what? Why did that take 95 hours to do? To find the sea. Hmm. Oh boy. 
Okay, so I don't know why I suddenly ran out of time. Unless when it gets to one day, you obviously you like you go to sleep for twelve hours and then you carry on. I don't know. Anywho, we're gonna see what's up with the chocobos and all that next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you guys then. <laughs>